Hey folks, uh, welcome back. Gardner here. Um, been a little while, I guess, but uh, oh man, it's time. It's time. I want to take you for a little walk around here, but uh, it's go time, folks. It's uh, March, March 3rd. Okay, so that's it. It's go time. We got to go. And uh, so I want to take you for a little walk around. We're going to get the garden cleaned up. Uh, so we're going to be cutting back the grasses. We're going to be cutting back the perennials. And here's a, um, uh, it's a hydrangea. Um, this is going to get cut back 50%. This is a paniculata, you know, which can really handle um, some some hard. This is called limelight. Absolutely beautiful in the summertime. I mean, all these are f spent flowers, and it'll just be full of flowers. This is Ligularia. Comes back every year. I'm, the perennials will come and cover everything. I'm going to show you a lineup of all the tools that we're using today. extension uh, pruner you know for reaching out basically almost uh, hand pruners but they're very sharp very effective and uh, they can really reach up and do some nice uh, fine-tuned pruning on uh, trees and taller shrubs and that sort of thing we've got the power shears you know for trimming the shrubs the backpack blower for cleaning up that's super important We've got the chainsaw, and then of course our hand tools, you know, a rake, and the flat shovel, a bed fork for spreading mulch and picking up debris and that sort of thing. Wheelbarrow, folks, cannot do this sort of thing without the wheelbarrow and the tarp. And then we've got the line trimmer, okay, also known as the weed eater, but that is highly effective. This here, this is the system. Um, it's a uh, steel, um, it's the steel combi. And every tool has a different, you know, job really. And, uh, but basically <laughs> we're gonna, uh, we're gonna make a little mess. We're gonna trim some stuff.
then after we're done uh, making a lot of noise and a lot and breaking a lot of eggs, you know, of course, uh, then the cleanup. <laughs> everything on tarps dragging it onto the trailer loading up the trailer taking the trailer to the dump you know unloading. <laughs> What you're finished with is just a, a clean slate, you know.
have prepped for springtime and you're ready for the forces of the garden, the forces of nature, the forces of spring to just explode. enjoyed that little cleanup video um, that was uh, two almost three months ago uh, started that cleanup project and uh, as you can see there was a lot to cut back and we did some hard pruning some hard cutting <laughs> but um, you know um, and now it's yeah two three months later so uh, we're past the uh, the blooming period and now we're just into the foliage period kind of you know this is the uh, the hot part of the year uh, summertime coming but oh man this little garden I've been tending to this garden for just about 20 years <laughs> I've planted just about every single thing here uh, except for that tree right there that's dead that's uh, some Japanese black pine or something that was here and um, yeah it died and I probably should come down it probably will come down by itself one of these days but um, I'm not worried too much about it woodpeckers like it and uh, yeah I kind of like the way it looks but then there's also a, a cherry in the background um, it's a, um, a Kwanzan cherry that was here and uh it can look a little ragged and old and tired at certain times but when it blooms it is incredible and you know it also really adds to a lot of uh, shade and canopy and um you know i like it i like a shade garden i like to be able to come home when it's when it's hot and i've been working hard and gardening all day long and sweating and be able to come back and you know just enjoy a, a very cool peaceful garden um, so I like the shade I do a lot of pruning so that it doesn't become you know oppressive and that you know everything gets the light it needs and you know it's a challenge to keep the grass green and everything like that but we're doing pretty good and it's uh, it's coming along um, but uh, yeah, that was a little cleanup action uh, before and after. Um, oh man. Woo. <laughs> uh, you know, you're in the enjoyment phase when the honeysuckle is out because I do not think that there is a sweeter fragrance in all the world, <laughs> in my humble opinion. <laughs> And I like this little guy here. This is a, a dwarf uh, wisteria. Anyway, thanks for joining me on our little gardening adventures. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope to bring some more, more videos uh, along the way. Uh, but anyway, yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, please uh, consider liking, subscribing, and have a great, great time in the garden. Enjoy the garden. Anyway, folks, thanks a lot. We'll see you again next time. All right, bye-bye.